going, everybody? Welcome back to the Mother Fossil Live. I tried to trip it. got to saying stuff about the eyewitness on the bridge. Actually, there's an eyewitness who was there when the incident took place. This photo was accidentally taken by the witness. It shows the Vic. That's code around here for victim. Mm -hmm. Wearing the scarf, sir. The name wasn't actually Vic. Although if it was, it'd probably be short for like Victoria or or, or Vicky. <laughs> <laughs> it was drizzling that day, unfortunately. It's a little hard to see what's going on. Anyway, the criminal shut the victim down from behind and stabbed in the back. That must have been when the scarf fell off. Hmm. Looking at this photo... You really get the sense that this bridge is very high up. It's about a 40 foot drop from the bridge to Eagle River down below. Sir Edgeworth, who took this photo anyway? Let's just say that it was a well-intentioned third party. Uh-huh. A potential witness. So why isn't this person in the courtroom? Well, uh, they said they absolutely did not want to, like, testify, so I was just like, okay, like, you absolutely don't want to, and I'm well, absolutely not gonna do it. The person in question is very delicate, your honor. A fucking coward. <laughs> SHOW YOURSELF! Besides, as long as we have this photo, we see no reason to compel them to testify. I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> I have the most all-around accent. I can't decide what the fuck it is. It's fine. You can make you can make this judge like have every accent possible. <laughs> I'm really trying. Like, I'll get one word right and then be like, oh, I'm fucking Scottish yeah. right now. <laughs> what does this photo seem to have been, been taken by, by the witness? witness. So as you can see, Terry Falls had both the motive and the opportunity. I think it's quite clear at this point what happened on that bridge. Um. What's that song? Under the bridge? How's it go? You think I fucking know? You think I, a man who's been kept locked into this house because of you? Sometimes I feel. Oh, I don't ever wanna feel like I did that day. Take to a place I love. Take me all the way. I don't ever wanna feel. Isn't that under the bridge? I don't fucking Red know. Red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> Fucking no. <laughs> hmm. I make fucking date of emphasis to like early 2000s. I wasn't born yet. <laughs> uh huh. The truth is becoming clear to me now. Huh? Yes, it's quite obvious. He's clearly guilty. Not again. That's not fair. I haven't even done my cross examination yet. Hmm. What do you mean? Hmm. You give him like a Homer Simpson voice. Huh? You give him like a Homer Simpson voice. I, yeah, I, I keep messing can, it up, man. <laughs> Actually, there's an eyewitness who was there when the incident took place. Who is this eyewitness? She's a college student. A female college student. <laughs> Those don't exist. That's right. Meaning she's female. And a college student, ma'am. She doesn't do well in front of other people, so I, I came to testify for her. Maybe so, but as the attorney for the defense, I have the right to cross-examine her. For the time being, we're not relying on the witness's statements. That is all. What is that supposed to mean? The prosecution has other, more decisive evidence. Our case doesn't rest on the vague testimony of a female college student. Female college student, eh? It means she's female and a college student. So what the fuck you dumbasses don't understand about this? If you absolutely must hear her testimony, you have to give us a good reason why. Uh, please tell us about the more decisive evidence in question. This photo was accidentally taken by the witness. It shows the Vic wearing a scarf, sir. The victim is wearing a scarf in that photo, all right? So about the witness who took this photo, what was this person doing all the way in the mountains? She was taking photos of wild flowers, apparently. There were many unusual types of flora on that mountain, Miss Fay. People in the area say it's because of the spirits that live there. Spirits? Now that you mention it, th this photo, 
This cloudy fog-like thing. Is is it a ghost? I don't believe it. No, Yana, no, I, I don't think it's a ghost. It was drizzling that day. Unfortunately, it's a little hard to see what's going on. Drizzling, huh? That's right. It was a light rain coming down. The whole place was dreary. But not as dreary as the mood that's in this court right now. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a cold front just moved in. Sorry about that. In any case... The point is that the area was quite damp. It was even more fog. I even slipped and fell while I was on the bridge. It, it was really something. Anyway, the criminal shut the victim down from behind to stab her in the back. Is that part of the witness's testimony as well? Of course it is. He pushed the victim hard in the back and she fell down right on his stomach. Hmm. I remember that happening once myself. It was really brutal. Are you talking about seeing someone get pushed or were you the one getting pushed? Or does it mean that you pushed someone down like that once? With his mind boggling tales and the way he said brutal. I wonder if he's Canadian. Huh. <laughs> a nasty look for the right person. He's actually Scandinavian. <laughs> Huh? Take a look. Poor baby. The court record seems to have wet itself. Hey! Watch where you spilled your coffee. Foreshadowing! Oh. He's gonna get coffee in his eyes and that's why he wears that thingy! Oh. <laughs> the court record, huh? It must have been when the scarf fell off. So in other words, there was a struggle between the criminal and the victim, huh? That's what the witness said. Well, it looks like she didn't remember about the scarf. But from what she said, it sounded like a pretty violent fight, ma'am. The area was wet from rain. The bridge was probably wet too. Which would explain why the scarf was all covered in mud, but... There's something about this testimony that's still bothering me. Look about a surprise. I had no idea there was a photo. So, so what do I do? I really still believe him. It's the crybaby, I mean. Of course I do. Hmm. So a little kid and believed in fairy tales, huh? In that case, the answer is obvious. If what you believe is the truth, then that means that somewhere, hidden in that testimony, is a contradiction. One huge contradiction waiting for it to be discovered. That's your chance. Wait, what am I doing? Okay. Have we got any new evidence? Uh, we got this photo. Okay, right. Mm -hmm. Wearing the scarf. Mm -hmm. The tracks. Okay. Hat. Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah. There was an eyewitness who was there, there when the incident took place. Mm -hmm. This photo was accidentally taken by the witness that shows the Vic wearing the scarf. Mm -hmm. It was drizzling that day. Unfortunately, it's a little hard to see what's going on. Anyway, the criminal shoved the victim down from behind and stabbed her in the back. How could he, how could he shove her down from behind if, if she's facing him? Because she's trying to run away. We'll talk about the conditions. Talk about the conditions. Mm, the rain. Save that thought for later. Okay. Okay, so, yeah. So it's raining. Uh, the criminal shoved the victim down from behind, so she fell down and got completely wet, okay? Mm. That's what he's saying. And that's when the scarf fell off. Okay, what's the picture of her in the trunk look like? This is her. Mmm. I mean... I don't really know if you can really tell if she looks wet or not. Does she look wet and muddy? No. What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh... Good job, you got it. <laughs> and, uh, my brain fucking died there for a second. So at the time of the crime, there was a light drizzle coming down, correct? 
Yeah, and fog too. Just a general soggy atmosphere, you know. Well, I have evidence that doesn't go with a soggy atmosphere. But this is a photo of the victim's body that was found in the car trunk. Considering the conditions at the scene of the crime, something isn't right. Well, by all means, please enlighten us as to what isn't right. What is it about this photo of the trunk that doesn't fit with the conditions of that day? She's not wet and muddy! Naturally, the answer is right here. The victim's quote. As far as I can see, there's nothing strange about it. About it. <laughs> That's exactly what's strange. Recall the testimony. What were the conditions on the bridge that day? It was drizzling and foggy. Dusky bridge was all wet. If the victim really had fallen down on her stomach on top of the bridge, then the front of her coat should have been covered in mud. Eh. That... That's exactly right. The other day I fell on a muddy street and my gorgeous playoff beard was befooled. I do admit that the crime scene was quite wet that day. However, that doesn't mean that the top of the bridge itself was muddy. If you want to have fallen in a shower instead of on a muddy street, your glorious hockey beard, the pride of the legal league, will be wet but not muddy. Fortunately, I have yet to test that. Still, your point is well taken. Can you prove that the surface of the bridge was muddy that day? The surface of the bridge, huh? <laughs> real men wouldn't stand for a taunt like this. Neither would a real woman. Of course I can. That's fucking bullshit. Here's the evidence that proves the surface of the bridge was muddy. The motherfucking scarf! Oh. The evidence is this scarf! Ah! It should be obvious. If the scarf fell onto the bridge and got this muddy, it means that the bridge was obviously covered in mud. Oh, I can't be outfitted by this nif novice bimbo! Hey, same to you, buddy. Miss Fay's assertion makes perfect sense to me. I do admit that there appears to be a contradiction between the condition of the victim's coat and her scarf. However, the real question is, why is there a contradiction? Huh? For every contradiction, there exists an explanation. Let's look at what the explanation <laughs> in this case may be, shall we? Uh, Alright. It's not like he's really giving me a choice here. Huh. You're doing pretty well. For a little kitten. Mr. Armando. No matter what he says, a contradiction always comes down to a lie. It's either the victim discovered in the trunk, the witness's photo showing the defendant in the victim, or the witness's testimony that stated she saw the moment of the murder. Just relax and think it over. It's pretty simple, isn't it? With false evidence. It's one of those three. Hmm. What do you said just now? I'm not sure I like that. That wasn't me, Your Honor. It was the coffee aficionado over here that said it. This court is now in the habit of accepting false evidence, you know. Blame it on him, Your Honor. He's the one trying to slip false evidence into court. But we won't let him. He expose his evidence as the flimsy scam it really is. Yes. <sighs> The false evidence in this case is... Okay, so... It's gotta be the body in the trunk because she doesn't have mud on her. Oh, well, I guess unless the testimony could be false and then she did actually get pushed to the back and to her stomach, right? Well, well, okay, well, we're saying witness. We're not talking about Gumshoe. We're talking about yeah, the this... actual witness that Gumshoe is repeating her words. Yeah. So, yeah, we have to witness this photo, so, like, it's... Yeah, I think it's gotta be the gotta testimony. Be. But, and the testimony? 
Well, right, because we have an actual picture. We have two pictures. It's hard to debate that's false evidence. Okay, so you could say that the witness can lie. Yeah, just know. lie about what happened. Okay. It's a no-brainer. Obviously, it's the witness that's suspicious. During his earlier testimony, the detective pointed out a crucial fact. The criminal shoved the victim down from behind and stabbed her in the back. Now, is that testimony exactly what the witness claims to have seen? Yeah, that's what the witness told us. That testimony is filled with holes. Swiss cheese of a testimony. After all, the victim's coat isn't dirty at all. Hmm, that's true. Huh, it's not just true. It's the truth. If it was truly a decisive witness in this case, I'm certain that boy Wonder over there would have called them, them in the first place. Your Honor. <laughs> the defense requests to cross-examine the eyewitness. The testimony presented so far is not only vague, but contradictory as well. <laughs> well, Mr. Edgeworth, it appears that we'll need to hear from your mystery witness after all. <sighs> You should brace yourself for the brutal truth. Your Honor, the prosecution has no intention of hiding the witness from the court. We are prepared to present our witness at any time. Very well. Please bring forth your witness at this time. What Mr. Edgeworth said kind of worries me. What does he mean by the brutal truth? Now, let's proceed with the testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, please go right ahead. Thank you, Your Honor. The prosecution summons the woman who saw the events that day with her very own eyes. This is it, Mia. The battle begins here. Witness, what is your name and occupation? Oh shit, that's right. Everyone is so silent that I can hear their hearts going pitter-patter. Hmm, oh. What do you mean that you... Uh, that's right. What do, you, what do you mean by that? She was from the first case. Yeah. Where she's Dahlia Hawthorne, right? Yeah. This is Phoenix's and lover. That. And then she went like nuts, right? And then Mia said that she knew she knew Dahlia Hawthorne from the mm -hmm. case before. Right. Yeah. Mm. Mm hmm. How, yeah, she ended up like going crazy, right? And then she went to prison, right? Yeah, she's in jail right now. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay. But she went to jail for the murder of Doug Swallow. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. When I look at you, how can I put it? You look as scrumptious as a double double in a dozen donut holes? You're not going to eat it, so you want to know. I feel like I want to hurry up and hand down a verdict just to have a bite. Jesus Christ. Hey, hey, not so fast. <sighs> As I said before, this witness is, a very, is very sensitive and delicate. I would ask the court to please exercise care when addressing her. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. You are a true gentleman. Miss Fay, you could learn a lot from this man. If he's such a gentleman, he sure doesn't act like one to me. Um, sir? Hmm? Eh? Yes, my dear. This is my first time, so I'm sure I'll make a lot of mistakes. Anyway, I just wanted to say I'm sorry for all the trouble I might cause. I like that it's your first time, actually. Mm -hmm. I'll show you the ropes. <laughs> Not at all, there's no trouble at all. Now then. May we please have your name and occupation? My name is, um, Melissa Foster. I'm a college student, a, a freshman in the literature department. You were on the scene when the unfortunate event occurred, correct? M. Foster? M. Foster, M. Foster? Yes, <laughs> that is what it is. <laughs> and you were the one who took this photo. Is that correct? Ah! How can you be 
be so mean. Now see her. Now see here. What are you doing shoving that in her face like that? Huh? But it's just a photograph. It's not like it's something dangerous. Next time I'll be forced to penalize you. Uh oh, I don't like the turn this has taken. Is she staring at me? Um, and you would be. Huh? I, I'm the defense attorney. My name is Mia Fey. I see. So you are. Now then, young lady. Could you please give us your testimony? Yes, Your Honor. I'll do my best. I... I was using my camera to take some pictures of wildflowers. Then, I noticed there were two people standing up on the suspension bridge. Suddenly, they just started fighting. That's when I hurried and took the photo that shows the crucial moment. And right after that, I called the police. Hmm. By the way, there were you. Where were you standing when the incident occurred? I believe the map would be of help here. Um, I was standing right over here. I was standing in the beautiful field, surrounded by tall cliffs. So you took the photo from that location, eh? I brought the camera I was using at the time, just like Mr. Edgeworth asked me to. Ho ho ho. What a cute camera. Just like its owner. Camera! camera. Melissa, Melissa Foster, Foster took, took the witness's, witness's photo with this. A small but powerful model. All right then, Miss Faye. Time for your cross-examination. But he warn you. Make the witness cry again, and you'll feel the rat on my gavel. I, I was using my camera to take some pictures of wild flowers. Did you say wild flowers? Yes, the mountain is famous for its beautiful spring wild flowers. Um, but it's only February. Well, I... I couldn't wait for spring to come. Ho oh, ho, I know just how you feel. It's just like when I first started growing this glorious beard of mine. I just couldn't wait, so I... Or a dyed blonde sandy beard. Until mine grew in properly. It's now Irish. I know, dude. I can <laughs> fuck. I had it there for a minute. Would you mind if we got back to the facts of the case, Your Honor? And I noticed there were two people standing up on the suspension bridge. Was there anything strange about the two of them? I... I'm a bad girl. I know I am. It looked like they were having a really serious conversation up there. So I decided to watch them. Some kind of peeping Tom. No, not at all. Everyone is like that. I love watching other people fight too. In fact, I can't get enough of it. Actually, that's why I took this job in the first place. Too much info, Your Honor. In any case, it's perfectly natural for you to have kept watching them. Especially just as they were. Well, anyway... I was watching them very closely. Suddenly, they just started fighting. Do you have any idea what they were fighting about? Huh? No, I have no idea. Why do you ask that? Oh, I just thought that maybe you overheard what they said. I would never... I would never use job. I've got more class than that. That's right, Miss Faye. Don't drag the witness down to your level. <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> this is like so hard. <sighs> That's when I hurried and took the photo that shows the crucial moment. Why did you take a photo? Well, two of them are really going at it. Ever since I was a little girl, I always wanted to be a news reporter. I guess that part of me just kind of took over. Smells like a lie to me. Yes. I understand completely. <laughs> Even now I can't completely abandon my boyhood 
dreams. I still use my grandson to test my comedy routines on. So he wants to be a comedian, huh? Not that it has any bearing on this. All I could do was to use my camera. So I took the photo, the photo of the crucial moment and gave it to the police. And right after that, I called the police. You called the police? Yes, because it looked to me like the murderer was going to try to escape. We were already moving before the, we were already moving before the call even came in. Thanks to the victim's notes, we had already started that operation. Mmm. That was certainly tough. Look for the criminal, eh? If Terry Falls isn't the criminal, then there must be something strange in that girl's testimony. Careful, kitten. That girl has a judge wrapped right, right around her little finger. You're gonna have a tough time poking holes in that testimony of hers. You're going to have to come up with something really good, Mia. Okay, what am I doing? Alright. Using my camera to take some pictures of wild flowers. Yep. Then I noticed there were two people standing up on the suspension bridge. Yep. They just started fighting. Yep. That's when I hurried and took the photo that shows the crucial moment. And right after that, I called the police. Oh, fuck. My bad. So, what am I doing? Damn. Alright, let's go with the evidence here. Okay. Uh, by the way, we've stepped in the back. I died from blood loss between four and five. Mm -hmm. This is the map right here. Uh, Dolly said that she was de standing, like, below that cliffside. Okay. Uh, which is going up, not going down, by the way. If that makes sense. Okay. So it's like a mountain to her left. Uh, the victim's note says that, uh, to meet at 4.30 at that bridge and wear a white scarf for identification. Talk to Dolly. I tell her this time, the whole truth must come out. And then this is the photo of dead Valerie. Uh, it's got thrown by vi the victim at the time of the incident, found on Dusky Bridge. This is the witness's photo. Okay, so you're saying she was up. Where she was, she was up above the bridge. No, 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 no. So you see that little, uh, that left side, that, yep. little, that cliff? Okay, that is... I use my mouse. It's this thing. Okay. So she's standing right here, and then that's that little cliff edge that you can see to the left. Oh, okay. Uh, if that makes sense. Okay. Uh, which, yeah, this is the photo that she took. Okay. And this is the camera that she took the photo with. So, I was using my camera to take some pictures of wildflowers. Then I noticed there were two people standing on the suspension bridge. Suddenly they started fighting. That's when I heard and took the photo that shows the crucial moment. And right after that, I called the police. Called the police? Call the police. Well, can you prove that she did or did not? No. Okay. Well, yeah, because wouldn't they have received a call? But do you have that evidence? I don't think we do. No. Uh, the crucial moment. Yeah. What makes that the crucial moment? What do you What do you consider the crucial? Moment? Crucial moment would have been the actual murder, like pushing, <laughs> stabbing her in the back. Objection! Witness. When you said you took a photo of the crucial moment, is this what you meant? Uh -huh. All I can see in this photo are two people facing each other. You testified that you saw the two of them starting to fight. Normally, that's the kind of thing we would refer to as a crucial moment. Why haven't you presented a photo like that? Well, you see, the photo we presented was the only one there was. If you really wanted to capture the crucial moment, then what happened next? You must have taken a photo of it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm good. Um. Apologies, young lady. <laughs> but Miss Faye's assertion is not without a certain amount of merit. He can certainly downplay a situation, can't he? I'm sorry. I'm a very bad girl. I, um, I used it all up. In the film, I mean. You ran out of film. This photo was the last one. 
What? Unfortunately, that is the truth. I personally examined all of the photographs she took that day. All the other photos are of the witnesses herself playing among the wild flowers. They're fucking terribly shot. The color correction is awful. It's not even white balanced. And the framing of the shot is just on the ground. We barely even see the witness. Piece of fucking shit photographer. The witness herself. Then who took the photos? Well, you see, my camera has a timer feature built into it. So you took photos of yourself? Mmm, I remember taking some photos of myself once too. Please, no details. It seems that Miss Faye's assertion was not so decisive after all. <clears throat> Wait, just a minute. Well, if she had no film left, she couldn't very well take more pictures, eh? Miss Foster, perhaps then you can tell us about a different sort of photo. What was it the incident that you took with your very own eyes? Mr. Hedgewood, you're quite the poet. Very well then, let's get back to the cross-examination. Let's hear your thoughts on the fight that you witnessed. Yes, Mr. Judge. Boy, this guy is really a sucker for sweet talk. Huh. It looks like the other kitten in the room is the one that's getting all the attention. Yeah, it's sickening. Uh, the blue, blue, okay. Uh, the victim turned around. The victim turned around and tried to run away, but... The victim? Why do you think she tried to run away? Um... With her police training, she certainly knew better than to turn her back on a criminal. This was a large, powerful man with a knife. If he had been a quaggy woman like you, I'm sure he would have acted differently. Quaggy? Why, you? If it had been me, I probably would have never jumped into the river. Would, would have never? I probably, I probably would have jumped into the river. <laughs> There's still something wrong with this testimony. She only got about 10 yards before she was stabbed in the back. So you're saying Sergeant Hawthorne wasn't able to get away from him? Uh, it's a narrow bridge, and it was swaying back and forth. If you ask me, both of them were in danger of falling off. I really wish I could have done something to help her. Mmm, that seems to make sense. I wonder about that. Something seems kind of off. Huh. Doesn't know. You have a good sixth sense. When you feel that something's off, that's where when you need to figure out why. If Terry Falls isn't the criminal, then there must be something strange in that girl's testimony. Careful, kitten. That girl has a judge wrapped right around her little finger. We have a tough time poking holes in that testimony of hers. I'm going to have to come up with something really good, Mia. Alright, so what am I doing? So, these are the last two statements. The victim turned around to run away, but she only got 10 yards before she was stabbed in the back. Yeah, I mean... So she's saying she didn't even fall? She just got stabbed in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the best. So she's running this way? Yes. Well, that doesn't make sense, right? Wouldn't she... Didn't she to escape, but she needed to go that way? Terry Falls is standing right here, and she's standing right here. Ah, right, right, right. So she turns around and runs 10 feet. 10 yards. 10 yards? So explain to me this arrangement here. These are like boards. Yeah, this is the bridge. And then there's nothing here. Yeah, there's no boards on the bridge there. Why? Because it's missing. The bridge, the bridge is not finished. Okay, if they're here, we know 5 yards is here. 5, 10. She'd be running right into nothing. Missing bridge would have fallen, plummeted to her damn death. Objection! What the fuck? <laughs> Witness, your testimony is a joke. Uh, what? But I, I just... Miss Faye. I mean, Miss Faye. I thought I warned you not to make the witness cry. One short testimony and two bad contradictions. There's no possible excuse. You say there were two contradictions? It's simple. Just take a look at the diagram of the area. 
According to her testimony, the two of them were in the middle of the bridge. But if they were, and the victim had turned around and tried to run, well then, she would have hit a dead end. You said 10 yards, but she couldn't have ran even five because Dusky Bridge has collapsed on that side. What does all this mean? It's very simple, Your Honor. This charming little witness told a charming little lie. That's all there is to it. <laughs> this, this beautiful young lady has been lying to the court. Objection! Just a moment, Your Honor. Mr. Edgeworth. Your Honor, allow me to personally apologize for the confusion. What do you mean? There's one major mistake in this diagram. What did you say? What are you referring to? It's all because this diagram was made after the incident occurred. It's a very old bridge. I couldn't find any official blueprints of it. So you're saying... I'm saying that even though this bridge is currently in disrepair, there's no evidence that it can prove that the bridge was broken during the incident. That's ridiculous! You can actually tell the condition of the bridge from this photo. I apologize to the court for not being more clear when I presented the evidence. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> that guy is good. Huh? What do you mean? He planned it from the beginning. He's a genius, alright? The diagram of the bridge was his insurance policy. What? A coward! Well, Miss Fay, it seems you once again made a reckless accusation. I'm so sorry. I should have been more careful myself. No, 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 no. It wasn't your fault at all. That's only sarcastic, Your Honor. <laughs> now then, here we go on with the trial. I'd like to establish once and for all what it was that the witness actually saw. Indeed. All right, young lady. May I ask you to please proceed with your testimony? But I... It's so hard to go on. We're all on your side, Miss Foster. There's no need to worry. Just tell us what you saw. <laughs> yes, sir. And she'll tell us what she saw. On the, on the next, next episode! episode. Make, also goodbye, everybody. I love you. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment below, and hit the bell so you can be notified every time we upload every single day. Bye. Bye.